So this uh, network, uh, which uh, is called ANSAC Diva Networks, the uh, objective of this network is designing and developing the next generation of intelligent vehicle networks and applications. Basically, what we are trying to do is designing how the car will look in the future. In order to do that, we need to be able to design all those networking protocols to ensure that all the cars will be able to talk to each other and communicate with each other in an efficient way. So some of the applications that we are interested in, um, is it possible to have the car that can just drive by itself without needing the driver? Uh, that's possible. Uh, the way we are looking at it is we'll be, uh, we're going to put all the sensors around the car. We're going to try to uh, change all the infrastructures of the road and that the road will be able to have uh, a wireless technology is there, Wi-Fi, WiMAX, wireless sensor, video sensors. The car will be able to talk to each other and the sensors that are, uh, the car that will be equipped with sensor will be able to manage the car how to drive on the same line. Well, we would like to be able to make the car safe, secure and uh, entertaining for the passengers. So the idea is instead of having the video, the static video in the car and they watch the movie, it would be nice if the parents in the car, they ask the kids what car, what type of movie you want to look at. So if they want to look at Jurassic Park, they just do this and then the Jurassic Park will just come all the way via the wireless heterogeneous networks and then they can see the movie. Other applications they can do that is just look at, they can take their PDA and they can play with the passenger in another car. And uh, so here there is a lot of technology that need to be developed in order to ensure that because when the person is going to play with another person in another car, we don't know whether they are on the same uh, directions or in the opposite directions. So they can play together in, um, uh, in real time. So they will see exactly what the people is playing at the same time. 